Hello beautiful people, it's Nita and today I'll be sharing with you guys how I got this makeup look. I already know you guys love when I do my eyes real time so I definitely did that and then I also share with you guys how I got the full look. We did the face, we did the highlight, the contour, the lashes, all of that. So if you're interested stay tuned and keep on watching. All right babe, so in true fashion you already know I did one eye so I can walk you guys through what I'm gonna do and you know, for us not to be here all day. All right, so I am using the Juvia's Place, um, the Nubian 2 palette, y'all, mine is so dirty. So I'm just gonna pop up a picture <laughs> to show y'all what um, colors I'm using all of that out of the palette. So we're gonna go ahead and start with our crease. Oh, first I did um, do my brows and I primed my lid with my Juvia's Place concealer. This is in the shade number 12. And yeah, I put that all over my eyelid and just blended it out as a base for our eyeshadow. So I'm gonna start with my, this is um, this brush is from Crown Brushes. It is the C441 Pro Blending Crease Brush. And I'm gonna take the shade Morocco and we're gonna start by blending that into our crease. So when you're doing your crease colors, you want to make sure to blend, blend, blend. And also you just want to make sure that you pack on the product until it gets um, as intense as you want it to be. Don't be afraid to apply more product. Don't be afraid to apply more color if it's not showing up the way you want it to. Uh, I'm going back and forth between patting motions and swirling. Uh, patting is where I really kind of pack the color on. And then when I go back in and do this swirling motion, that's kind of how I blend it out. I'm just gonna blend out the edges a little bit. I'm just gonna kind of going over the edges of that color and swirling, 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 just to kind of blend it out a bit. All right, so I wanted that orange to be a bit more intense. So this is actually a blush from Beauty Bakery. It is in the shade Hey Pumpkin. It's a beautiful orange color, and I'm just gonna use that over um, the orange from Juvia's Place. And I'm just gonna kind of blend that over just to make that orange a bit more intense. And I'm also just realizing I use this other palette from Glam Galore Club Cosmetics. They have an orange in here that I definitely could have used, but I didn't pull this palette out till later. So if you don't have the orange blush, if you just get this palette in the Morocco and the uh, Juvia's Place palette, you could just use those two palettes for this whole look. I'm just realizing that I could have used this orange, but I didn't. I didn't start with this palette, so I wasn't aware. All right, so once we have our crease, our orange blended and you know, as intense as we want it to be. Next, I'm going to go in again in the Nubian 2 palette and I'm using the shade Jezebel. And it's just a beautiful eggplant color. Um, and I'm using this brush that I got from my Ipsy Glam Box this past month. It doesn't have um, a number or anything. It's just a fairer brush. It came in a little set in my Ipsy Box. Just gonna use that and I'm gonna pop it in here kind of in our closer crease area if you kind of see where I'm patting that it's just pretty much where like your eye literally creases I'm gonna put that put this purple shade in this area here And you see, I keep applying more color because again, I just apply more color until it looks as intense as I want it to look. Until the color gives me as much color payoff as I want from the look. All right, so I'm going back in with the crown brush and I'm just going to blend out the edges there. And the way you blend out your edges is you literally just take the end, the tail end of the brush and 
you just rub the ends not really hard not you know we're not going in like that just really lightly along the edges and that's what I'm doing here All right, so I did want the purple to be a bit more intense than what it is. So that's when I pulled out my Glam Glore Club Cosmetics. Look at this. Oh, it's so beautiful. But yeah, I pulled this out and I'm using this purple shade here um, just to make that purple a little bit more intense. And I'm using this very small fluffy brush. This is a Morphe M506 brush. And I'm just gonna pat that on the outer V area just to build the purple a little bit. And I'm just gonna kind of swirl it into my crease. All right, so I'm not gonna focus on that too, too much just yet. We're gonna go ahead and do our lid color. And I'm just taking this flat eyeshadow brush. This is a Sigma S275 brush. Any flat eyeshadow brush will do. And from the Nubian 2 palette, I'm using the shade Nairobi. It's a beautiful, like shimmery orange, I'm sorry, shimmery yellow color. And I forgot to do this. I did wet my brush just cause I want that color to be very intense. I'm just using the Morphe setting spray to wet my brush. You can use, you know, whatever setting spray you have, but I'm gonna pop that Nairobi onto the eyelid here. And when I'm using metallic colors, I normally just like to slide the brush across my eye to get the most color payoff. And then I'm gonna kinda do just a little fake cut crease right here. I just always like to do that. I don't know why, but <laughs> I just like to do that. Just in the crease of the eye. And voila, the yellow is popping. It's popping, it's popping. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go back in with that small shader brush here and that purple from the Glam Galore palette. And I'm just gonna kind of blend these two here in together. And I'm also just gonna take that purple right along the edge of where that um, yellow shade ends, uh, the Nairobi. I'm just gonna take that right along there. And then I'm gonna go back in with this um, fluffy brush, no extra product. And I'm just blending out the edges of that purple and the orange, just trying to make sure everything looks nice and seamless in that area. All right. Next, I did, last but not least, I did take from the Nubian 2 palette, there's a shade called, I think it's Ya, it's just Y-A-A. It's a beautiful, um, kind of like a orange, burnt orange shimmery shade. And I popped just a tiny bit of that right here between that yellow and the purple. And it made a little bit of a difference. It's not a huge difference, but I did like the way it looked. And I'm actually gonna go back in with some more of that purple. I feel like it got lost on the edge. I feel like the purple got lost. I'm just popping more of that purple into the outer V area. Sometimes it is so hard to make both eyes match, like when I don't do them together. But we're gonna push through, you know, we're gonna push through. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and line my eyes. I'm using, so let's go ahead and line my eyes. I'm using the NYX, that's the point, um, hella fine eyeliner. Thank you. 
All right, so now that the eyes are almost done, we're gonna go ahead and do the foundation. All right, so today for my foundation, because like I said, spring is approaching and this is a spring inspired look. I want my skin to be a little bit more on the fresh and kind of dewy side, but I do have oily skin, so it can't be too dewy. I need, um, I guess kind of like a semi matte finish. So I'm gonna mix two foundations together. I have not tried these together, so we're just gonna see. Um, it is the NARS Soft Matte Foundation, which is one of my absolute favorites, and the Glam Galore Club Cosmetics. Um, this is a soft matte finish, but in my opinion, it's more of a satin finish, but I love it. Um, I wear this a lot in the summer. So I'm gonna mix these two together to see if I can get the look that I want to achieve. So I'm just gonna pop a little bit of this on. And the NARS, I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand and apply it. All right, now let's mix her up and see what she's giving. from this side I actually think I think I'm liking it I think I'm liking it a lot You gotta make sure you get underneath those eyes, girl. Whew. And y'all, excuse this thing. It has been on my face for like three weeks, literally. And it's like, it's like not going to go away. It's gone down, but wearing masks have really done a number on my skin. So again, we just, we just pushing through. We just pushing right on through. And I do like to just kind of feather the foundation in right there because I don't like a hard line between where the eyeshadow and the foundation, you know, kind of starts and ends. But yeah, since we got that on, I'm, I'm thinking I'm liking it's definitely full coverage, which is what I like. I'm a full coverage kind of girl. And, um, but it's not too matte. I think I like it. I think I like this combo. We'll see if, as I wear it. Uh, today all right all right all right all right okay next we are going to highlight and i think i'm just going to use my old faithful which is the born this way concealer in the shade mocha And I don't highlight my chin just because I like to make sure that my chin and my chest matches. Um, Cause my face is already, my hands already darker than my body. I don't need my face to look like it's, you know, I, I just, I just don't do the chin <laughs> personally. So I leave that area open and then I'm gonna take my Juvia's Place Concealer. It's a little bit lighter and I only apply it right in the inner area there. I don't, I don't want my highlight to be too, too bright where it takes over my face. All right, and then for concealer, I'm using the Morphe Stick Foundation, and this is the shade, it's a bunch of numbers, so I'll put it on the screen. Um, it's a stick foundation. I'm just gonna apply it to the areas that I want to contour. 
I don't go super heavy on my forehead. And we're just gonna do, you know, make sure that chin and jawline is gathered. And I just use the, um, the residue to get my nose. All right, so we're just gonna let our concealer dry down a little bit because I find, I got this from my good sis Jackie Aina. Um, when you let your concealer dry down a little bit before you blend it out, it gives you a better coverage. So I use my little fan here and let it dry down a bit and then we'll blend it out. Taking this, this is the setting brush from Real Techniques. I got it in a set and I love these little brushes blending out um, my concealer. I'm gonna let my under eye concealer dry down a little bit more before I go in and, and do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the nose. I'll probably go ahead and do my contour and then I'll come back to the under eye area. All right, so I think our concealer is ready. So we're gonna go ahead and blend it out. And when I'm blending out the concealer, it's literally just a bunch of padding because you don't wanna swipe the product away. Um, when you end up doing a lot of swiping, you just move the product around and kind of take it away. So when you pat, you are blending, but at the same time, you're making sure that you're pushing the product into your skin and you're getting the most coverage. And I mean, you can use that technique, not just for concealer, for your foundation too. That's why a lot of times you pat your foundation in and you don't do a whole lot of swirling. All right, so once I get the concealer blended out the way I want it, I just go back in with the foundation brush and just catch those edges. Just kind of go over the edges and make sure that it's blended seamlessly. All right, concealer is blended. Um, my contour, I just recently got this stick, so I'm not really happy with the shade. I think it's a little bit dark and cool. I just wish it was a little bit warm, warmer but I'll just, I'll finish it out with some powder. Anywho, so now we're gonna set and I'm using my Laura Mercier um, setting powder and this is the, the darker one. I can't remember the name, I'll put it on the screen or in the description box. So before I set the concealer, I just want, I'm gonna look up and make sure that I don't have any creasing. and apply my powder. And I'm using, I forget where this sponge is from, but I like the fact that it has that flat side. I use that to uh, put my setting powder under my eyes. I'm just gonna look up and press. Want that contour to pop, so we are gonna go ahead and hit that with a little setting powder. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I also like to make sure I set my laugh lines in the area above the lip. All right, so I don't really do a lot of baking. I just kinda do under the eye. I don't let it sit too, too much. Um, uh oh 
Uh oh. <laughs> I don't really let it sit too, too much just because I just don't. Personal preference, nothing's wrong with it. I just don't. So I'm gonna go ahead and set the rest of my face. And lately I've been using this Charlotte Tilbury, um, it's their pressed powder in the shade number three. I've been using this all over my face and I actually really like it. Um, I've heard good things about it for under the eye. I use it under the eye, but I actually find that I like it all over my face to set. Um, it doesn't really make it a little, it, it doesn't really change the color of my foundation. It has a slight tint to it, but I find that it goes away once I um, use my setting spray. But I like the fact that this is really finely milled. So, um, and I just like it to set my face. I like the, the finish of this powder. I like what it gives. So most people use it under the eye, but I actually use this one all over my entire face. And like I said, it does kind of make you a little bit, you know, a little, little ashy looking, but once I finish, it just comes together nicely. So I use that and then I'm gonna go ahead and contour and I'm using my all time favorite Black Radiance Contour Palette. I'm just gonna use that and pop it. Cause we want to be snatched in the cheek area. I'm gonna take it around the perimeter of my face. And I mix these two colors together. I think this is the dark one. This is medium to dark. And I just mix those two colors together and apply around the perimeter of my face here. And you can see that I already kind of brought some color back into my face where I was looking a little bit on the pale side um, from the Charlotte Tilbury powder. But I do, like I said, I really do love that powder. Um, I like it a lot. All right, so then we're gonna go ahead and hit the nose, snatch it a little bit. And I use the same brush. I just like pinch it so it can be like flat and I contour my nose with the same brush. And you see that line it just kind of gave me? And I just go in and just blend it. And you wanna make sure you blend that contour in right in here. Right in there. Blend that in, make sure. All right, the nose is snatched. It's a little bit dark. I'm just gonna kind of blend that out a bit more. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, I think I like that. So now I'm gonna go ahead and swipe away this powder underneath my eyes. And, all right, so I should have went ahead and did the color underneath my eye before I did that, but you know, we're just gonna roll with it. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and line my lower lash line. And I like to line my lower lash line using gel liner. I use my e.l.f. gel liner in a very small angle brush if I can find it. Yeah, I'm using this little small angle brush. It is a no-name brush. I don't remember where I got it from, but it's uber small. And I use that with my gel liner and line my waterline. All right, so now we're gonna apply some eyeshadow underneath our lash line, and I'm using my Glam Galore Club Cosmetics. I'm going to use the same purple shade that I used um, in my outer crease area. I'm gonna pop that underneath my lash line, and I'm going to use another brush from my Ipsy Glam Box. This is another Farrah brush. Again, it doesn't have a name, um, but definitely sign up for Ipsy Glam if you are, um, into makeup, they always send, it's a monthly subscription, and they always send um, a makeup brush set in each um, subscription. And I've been trying out a few different um, brands that I've never heard of from them, and I really like it. So you get to try out some things before you, you know, buy. Okay. 
So I'm just taking that purple and I'm using my beauty blender just to hold so I don't mess up underneath my eyes. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and spray my brush a little bit just to make that purple pop. And I'm going to pop that underneath my lash line here. Alright, so now we are going to set our face before we apply our mascara and our lashes. Oh, we also need to do our highlight and stuff, so let's do that. As far as blush is concerned, I think I'm going to use the same Beauty Bakery um, orange blush because I just love this blush, y'all. Um, one thing I can say for the spring, if you don't already, you definitely need an orange blush. It looks so good, um, especially for my women of color, if you have some melanin in your skin orange blush just looks so good oh it's just and this is so beautiful y'all it's so beautiful i was so excited to find these i picked these up at target i was just in there randomly one day and i was like oh those are blushes those are so pretty and so i picked i say those i got this one and then i got this pink one but yeah these are beautiful they're very pigmented and orange blush just like i said it looks good on women of color so if you don't and if you haven't tried it out definitely pick you up an orange blush girl for the spring like you need one you need one <laughs> All right, and then for our highlight, we're going to use the Maybelline Master Chrome. I'm gonna take the same brush and just like take the tip of the brush because this stuff is super potent. And smile. And yes, I'm highlighting my friends here, but you know what? You know, we, we're just gonna act like we don't see them. How about that? Uh-oh. I said, y'all, this stuff is super potent. Mm. And we're gonna pop it on the nose a little bit. And I'm not gonna do, all right. I'm just gonna take it on my finger. Well, you know what, Never mind. I was gonna put it on my brow bone, but it's a little bit too shimmery for the brow bone in my opinion. But what I am going to do is pop it in my inner, in here let me just find a brush and pop it I'm gonna just pop it right in here yep that was it that was what we needed to complete the look and I'm just gonna take the residue and pop that under my brow bone. I personally just don't care for a super bright brow bone. Um, you can, I don't, I don't like that. So I just do a little bit. So I just take what's left and pat it under there just to give us a little something, something. All right, so now we're gonna use our setting spray. Y'all already know I love the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. Oh, it's my absolute favorite amazing so now we're gonna pop on our lashes and our mascara as far as lashes I use these ones from Amazon um, ever since I found them I have fallen in love with them shout out to Lakeisha Michelle for putting me on to these All right, babe, so this is the final look. Mm -hmm. How are we feeling about it? I like it. Once I got my hair right, put on this cute little dress, I am ready for spring. Even though it's cold outside, it's already 70 degrees in my mind. But um, make sure you check the description box below. I will have links to every product that I use as well as the shade, if I didn't mention it in the video. Um, I, know I, didn't do, I know I didn't do my lips on camera, so that's definitely in the description box. As well as, y'all already know, I make wigs, and this is the Megan unit from glambarnita.com. And if you haven't already, make sure you follow me on Instagram at the Danielle. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.